So we have got a completely brand new promo format with this new NBA draft promo. You've got a bunch of masters all the way from a 95 overall Cade Cunningham to a 100 overall Grandmaster Jamal Murray. Now the question on everyone's mind is, is this a no money spent format? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get the masters and what it's going to take and what you're going to be able to get completely for free. If we take a look at Jamal Murray, he is giving out that platinum high flyer boost to team, which is absolutely ridiculous. High flyer boost being one of the best if not the best boost in the game which is pretty fun to see you got some nice masters as well but as we take a look at the promo structure itself it is a completely new format it is going to go out for eight days in total which is going to be fairly useful as you can see is kind of confusing with how it's laid out. But what we've essentially got is two types of points. You've got these points over here, which you're gonna get by playing through the top events, and they are called round points. Now, as you can see on the very first set of events, there are 20 of these to play through, each one costing 10 stamina, and each one is gonna give you 25 of these round points. Now, as you can see on the timer, these are going to basically run throughout the entirety of the promo. They're not repeatable, meaning you can't actually go ahead and play them every single day. They're a one-time offer for you to go ahead and play through, not costing a lot of stamina at all. Once you play through all 20 of these first events, you will then go on to the second ones, which are the draft round two events, and they will give you 50 round points and they will also cost 10 stamina. Now, again, these ones run throughout the entirety of the promo and they are 20 of them to play through throughout the promo itself. So it is a little bit different, Normally we get blitz events where you can play through a certain amount of events every single day, whereas this time it's just a one-time offer of you playing through all the events. You could probably get through all of them on the very first day of the promo, but of course it's just out for the entirety of the promo. So on the third event, you will then unlock that one after you've completed all 20 of these draft round two events. And again, it's very similar stuff. You're getting 150 of the round points, again, 10 stamina for every single event. Then you unlock that final offer over here, which is the draft round four event. And this one is gonna give you 300 points every time you play through it and it is only going to cost you 10 stamina as well now at the very end of that there is this event for jamal murray and what you're going to have to do to get him is you're going to need to get yourself all four masters and 10 thousand points that's going to be really tough to get up to getting up to that jamal murray he is a play style select so you can get him at power strategic or finesse depending on what play style you want to get him at but again you need all four of the masters so that cunningham the banchero the gordon and the sabonis all four of those guys over there and then you'll also need on top of that another 10,000 of these round points to be able to get yourself at that Jamal Murray. Now, when it comes to the second types of points, they are called NBA draft pick points. And what these ones are, are basically going to help you get the players required to get the players or the masters as it were with the promo. It's a little bit confusing, but I've tried to keep it simple with how I'm trying to explain it. So the very first thing are these round points. It will then help you to unlock and play through these bottom events. And what these do is there are two events to play through. So you'll notice the very first one is NBA draft pick one. This one has two events. One of them you can only unlock once you play through all 20 of these events, whereas the other one is just simply unlocked straight away. So you can see there are two events. Each one is exactly the same in what it's going to cost and what it's going to give out. So this one is going to give me 750 draft pick points, and it's only going to cost me 500 of those round points. It's exactly the same for that second event. And then if we take a look at the next event and along from that, that is pick number two. And it's very similar stuff. The first event is only going to be unlocked once I play through all 20 of these draft round two events. And the second event is just unlocked straight away. So you can go ahead and play through that any time you want. Other these ones are going to give you slightly different amount of points. So these ones are going to give you 2000 of the draft pick points for only 1500 of the round points over there. And it goes up bit by bit in the amount you're getting. Also, it's going to go up in the amount of points you're putting in. So on the third one, once you've unlocked these ones, you're going to be able to get yourself another 3500 of these NBA draft pick points for 3000 round points. Again, there are two events to play through. One's locked and that will become unlocked once you actually go ahead and play through all 20 of the draft round fee event. And then the second event is just unlocked already. I don't know why that is, but that's how that one works over there. And the fourth one is going to give you 5,000 of those NBA draft pick points for only 9,000 of the round points. So you'll notice the sort of ratio, of how many round points you're putting in and how many NBA draft points you're getting in goes down bit by bit because this one over here is a very decent offer. 500 points for 750 points is a lot better than 9,000 points for 5,000 points over there. However, these aren't repeatable. You can only do them once throughout the promo. They aren't repeatable at all. Then once you've got all of those NBA draft pick points, you want to press on this little store icon over here and this is where you go ahead and spend them. You need 400 to get yourself one draft player pack and this is just going to give you a random player from the promo anywhere between 89 and 93 overall. Now it 
doesn't matter at all what player you get. If these guys are going to help your team out, then it might be interesting to see what you can pull to see whether it's going to help your lineup. For the majority of players, this point in the season, it isn't going to help anyone's team pretty much with these types of overall of players. However, once you get these guys, they will then help you out in getting the masters themselves. And you can take a look at that by pressing on these milestones. As you'll notice, you go up bit by bit, every single player will count towards these milestones. So to get five players, will get you that Cade Cunningham over here, the 95 overall with the space maker boost. If you get 13 players, so that's opening this pack 13 times, getting 13 players, that will then get you that Banchero who is 96 overall over there if you get 28 players that is going to get you the aaron gordon which is 97 overall and then if you go all the way and get yourself 48 players that is going to get you demontas sabonis now you need to get all four of those guys so essentially you need to get yourself 48 players from this pack meaning you need to open the pack 48 times which is going to be an absolutely insane amount of nba draft pick points and then on top of that you're also going to need an extra 10,000 round points to be able to get yourself the jamal murray as well which is going to be quite a lot if we take a look at the store there isn't too much you can do but there are a couple of watch ad packs you can get as we notice on the right hand side you can see there's a watch ad pack over here this is going to give you 100 nba draft round points and these ones can be done three times a day so that's basically going to give you 300 in total every single day there's a cash offer on top of that so 450 nba cash for 500 of those draft pick points and again there's very similar all money offers to be able to get some extra points over there there's an extra player pack which is going to cost you real money to be able to get and then there is the watch ad offer for those draft pick points this is again very very similar to the one over here, which is for the round points. However, it is gonna give you those pick points instead. There's three of them to get every single day and you just get them by watching an advert. There are, of course, those NBA cash offers for extra round points and of course some extra money offers and some bundles and all of that stuff over there if you are willing to spend the money then you are going to get all of this stuff including stamina cash and a bunch of points and players as well to help yourself out in the promo now let's take a look at the main thing which is the calculations are you going to be able to go all the way and get yourself the jamal murray nominee spent well probably not so we'll start off by taking a look at the round points themselves because these events aren't repeatable you're just going to play through them once at the entirety of the promo so let's take a look at them a bit by bit on the draft round one you're going to get 25 points every single event times that by 20 that is 500 round points from that first set of events from the second one there are 50 points to get on every single event that's 1000 in total the next one's going to give you 150 points every event that's 3000 round points in total and then finally each one of these is going to give you 300 points so that is a total of 6000 round points if we add all of that together that is 10500 round points plus that little watch ad pack in the store you can get that three times every single day so that's going to get you 300 extra points every single day and the promo is out for a total of eight days so that's another 2400 round points from the store alone adding that to the total of events along the top that is 12,900 round points you're going to get in total throughout the promo and when it comes to these draft pick points it is a little bit more difficult however we'll start off with what you're going to need to get in order to get some of these masters along the top so if we take a look at Cade Cunningham you'll need to get five of the players that's five times 400 points because each player cost 400 of those draft pick points that is going to require 2000 NBA draft pick points to be able to get that Cade Cunningham for the 96 Banchero that's 5200 points 97 Aaron Gordon that's 11,200 points to get him and the 98 DeMontis Sabonis is 19,200 points now once you've got that DeMontis Sabonis you will then need 10,000 extra points but these are the round points to be able to get yourself to Jamal Murray now obviously I said earlier you'll get yourself 12,900 round points and what that's going to mean along the bottom I wouldn't recommend you do this last one because obviously it has the worst conversion rate between how many round points you're putting in and how many draft pick points you're putting in so I recommend you start off low and you do these bottom ones over here getting yourself 750 on both of those and then 2,000 and and then 3,500, you should be able to do these first six events. So one over here, two, three, four, and then five and six over there. That should give you a combined total of 12,500 of those draft pick points. However, that is going to only get you up to that Aaron Gordon. You're also going to get 2,400 if you do go ahead and watch an ad every single day. So that will put you up a little bit further, but it's not going to get you up to that DeMontis a bonus. And of course, to get yourself at Jamal Murray, it might be a little bit out of reach for the nominee spent player. However, this is a completely new format, so stuff might not play out 
out exactly how these calculations say it will. Of course, we'll have to go ahead and play through the event and the promo and see exactly how it's going to plan out. You might actually go ahead and get yourself Jamal Murray or even this DeMontis Sabonis. We don't know exactly for certain. But I've gone ahead and calculated everything over there. I'll drop in the pin comment if anything changes at all with the promo, if we learn something new or there's an extra way of getting a master or two. But let me know in the comment section down below which one of these masters are you going to try and get? Are you going to try and go all the way and get yourself the Jamal Murray with the insane high flyer boost over there? And if you want to know exactly what all of these boosts actually do, I did a video last season explaining the boost and nothing much has really changed with how they work and what they do. So if you want to learn exactly how you can boost up your players, go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner and I'll see you guys in that one. Peace.